Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we'll be taking a look at the Terror Toad and Putty set from the uh, Imaginex Power Rangers Alien Invasion line. Uh, real quick, the Alien Invasion line was a Target exclusive kind of subline to the normal Power Rangers line. And uh, it was pretty much all repaints, reuses of figures that Imaginex had previously done in older lines. Um, it's been discontinued for a while now. I actually got this one on Amazon, which is why it has this weird sticker across the front. I tried to get it off as best I could, but no such luck. That's like whatever the barcode, whatever the seller on Amazon used. But um, I think they're pretty cool. This this definitely works as the Terror Toad, and then you get this putty with a bike. Although I have to say I've never seen a putty ride a motorcycle before, but what are you going to do? Taking a look at the back, you have the usual kind of group shot uh, photo here that we've had. On a lot of releases and it shows how the toad can eat the rangers and the bike has a hammer effect and then down here you see the whole rest of the alien invasion line um the command center is not part of the alien invasion line that's on its own but they repainted the triceratops zord in kind of a uh like thunder zord unicorn kind of paint scheme which is actually pretty cool i think that's a really nice paint job um, the other three are just the red, black, and green ranger, all with the dragon shield, uh, versus a random alien. So these two are definitely, uh, I think there was an alien, like, space versus aliens, uh, line in Imagine X a couple years ago that these are taken from. And then this is, like, a mummy with, like, a Anubis headdress from, like, a, a Egyptian kind of, uh, you know, desert theme that they had a while ago, so... All the aliens are repaints, repurposes, and then obviously you have the rangers reused for this as well. This is probably, if you would have bought this back in the day when it was actually on the shelf, the cheapest way to get the green ranger with the shield, because the only other way you can get that is to buy that like $50 remote control <laughs> dragon sword toy, which I don't really want to do, but I do want the green ranger with the shield, so I kind of wish I had bought this back in the day bit late for that now maybe i'll get lucky one day and find it somewhere reasonable but yeah that's pretty much it standard open packaging for imagine x so nothing super exciting there but very cool i'm going to go ahead get this out of the packaging and we'll take a closer look so here is the set out of the packaging um obviously you get the toad and then you get the putty with his little motorcycle i'm going to put the toad off to the side for a moment we can focus in on the putty real quick um so again, I think it's a little weird they decided to, to include him with a motorcycle, but, you know, I guess putties need to get to various places. So it rolls very well, as you can see. Uh, if you press this button here, the hammering happens. It kind of locks up a little bit, though, I'm not going to lie. Oof. Oof. So, obviously it opens... You, what you do is you unhook this. There we go. And then you pull the putty out. I'm wondering, was it getting... No, still, I was thinking maybe it got stuck on the putty, but... So yeah. It's just a weird little hammer gimmick on the side of this bike. I like the color scheme, though. I think the dark gunmetal gray with the brownish kind of color, the black, the red, it all kind of works. Um, just throwing that to the back real quick. I love the putty. This is one of Lord Zed's putties. It has the big Z on the chest. Really nicely painted. Uh, just real quick, here is a regular putty from the Putty 3-pack. So you can see it's definitely the same toy, but it's a drastically different paint job. And they did a really nice job. I really like this. The dark gray face with the red eyes, and of course you have the Z emblem painted on the chest. Really nice. I like both versions, but I really like this one. Uh, standard articulation, head to the side, standard shoulder joint for an Imagine X, uh, wrist swivel, and then of course you have the 90 degree bend at the waist. So very cool. I like this guy a lot. The bike is kind of meh, but the putty that comes with it is definitely very nice. This connects really tightly. That really plugs in there. Um, and also, just because I happen to have it handy, here is the Joker version of the same bike. <laughs> this is what this was originally used for. Um, same hammer feature. Looks like it works a little bit better on the original. 
open this up came with this joker figure inside this is the old school joker they have sun since done several revisions i oh mean head on mine doesn't really want to bend i'm not going to chance it okay back in he goes so there you go it is literally the exact same mold just painted differently but you could do like a rock'em sock'em robots kind of thing Bing, his head pops up. Anyway, <laughs> off to the side. So yeah, it, the bike is eh, but the putty that comes inside, very, very cool. Love the putty. Gonna put that off to the side for the moment so we can bring in the Terra Toad. Very, very, very cool. Now again, this doesn't really look like the Terra Toad from the show at all, but it's still a really neat toy. He's got these kind of brains all over his back, which is creepy. Um, and he's got this weird kind of, is this like a tail or some kind of back ridge? I'm not really sure what's going on there. Uh, articulation wise, his hands can spin. They are solid pieces so he can grab. And since we have the putty handy, we'll just use him. Uh, it looks like he can hold them by the legs so he can actually hold the figures. You can see that the... The hand is kind of wide enough and it almost looks like it's meant to grab a hold of the legs there like that. So that's kind of cool. And then his chest is this real kind of soft, like, uh, plastic, rubbery. It reminds me of, like, remember those old pumps? You know, the basketball pumps? You would pump them up so it would somehow make you better at basketball? <laughs> that's what it reminds me of. He's, he's even got basketballs all over his back. Uh, but in any case, this opens up. And then he just eats a figure. Nom, 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 nom. And there you go. <laughs> I would say maybe you could fit two. We'll use the Joker just because I have him handy still. You can. I think you can fit two figures in there. He's like, oh man, my stomach. I think I ate something funny. <laughs> puns in any case take them out of there so yeah you could definitely fit especially if you did them like this i think you could definitely fit two so yeah that's pretty cool you can fit at least two figures in there oh and then he falls over i will say when he has his mouth open it makes him kind of back heavy so you want to make sure he keeps his mouth closed uh yeah but i, I think he's cool like i said is it very much in the aesthetic of what, you know, Terror Toad looked like from the show? No, not at all. I mean, they he doesn't really look like him at all. It's definitely a monster from some other Imaginex line that they repurpose. Like, oh, we can paint that green and it kind of looks like a toad. And I mean, the eyes are really fun. I love the crazy giant eyes. And it works. Like I said, it doesn't so much look like the Terror Toad from the original MMPR show, but... It looks enough like a toad that it works, and I think it's fun, and I really enjoy that it's included in the line here. And I love the gimmick of it eating the rangers, or just any figures in general. So, I think that's really, really cool. I think this is a pretty fun set. I definitely think the motorcycle with the hammer is a little out of place, just because, you know, the putties on the show never really rode around on vehicles, and... It just seems like they had to throw something else in to make this a complete set. But I love the putty. I think the putty is probably my favorite part of the set. And I would really love it if they would do another three-pack of these. Because we're kind of getting into the Thunderzord stuff. Um, you know, in the current status of the line. Like, we've had, you know, these figures come out. So we're obviously transitioning to Season 2 stuff. So I would love to see them revisit the Lord Zed putties and maybe do a three pack of these. I mean, it's got to be so easy for them to make. They have the mold. They just, you reuse it and repaint it. And I would buy a three pack of these putties. I think that would be fantastic. The Terror Toad, I think, is a uh, well done repurpose of an existing toy from the alien mutant line, whatever the, the previous line was. But I think they did a good job. They took a toy. They repurposed it well. They painted it perfectly. Um, this is definitely very fun in my opinion. It's not the best representation of the Terror Toad, but it, it works and it's definitely a lot of fun. So at the end of the day, I think the set is a lot of fun. The bike's a little weird, but I can get behind it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd like to hear from you guys. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. 
Please like and share the video. Please subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the Terra Toad and Putty set from the Imaginex Power Rangers Alien Invasion. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.